It's Monday, October 24th, and Ryan and I are back down at the River Bottom Farm. We're in the stand at the head of the slough. I haven't actually hunted this stand, and uh, I didn't hunt it at all last year, so it's been a couple of years ago since I had a few encounters with Dak out of this set. We're in here after Kelsey. It's still really warm. It's like 70 degrees this morning. Now we have a south southeast wind, so we're just blowing it back up the slough here. We had pictures of Kelsey yesterday morning back on a scrape around 7.30. A camera that we had, uh, we hung two days ago. We went put it up there back on that scrape. That scrape's there every year. It's a big active scrape. About 15 minutes ago, I could see a buck working, working around about 100 yards off. I couldn't tell what it was. It's a little too thick. Looked like a big body deer. I tickled the antlers together just for a minute just to see what he would do. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit louder calling sequence being October 24th. See if we can entice him to come check it out. That buck we smelled could not have been that far away. Well, that was a cool encounter. Boy, can they ever pinpoint rattling. I had lost, that was the one I saw earlier. I just couldn't tell what it was. It was standing in a big clump of trees over there. And after I rattled, I just kept glassing over there and I could see just his tail sticking out on the backside of a clump of trees. And he was actually staring back into the peninsula for a while intently you know and then he just picked up and walked straight to the base he's acting like he's got something in his nose he's trying to blow it out <laughs> keep scratching his face it's always cool to get him that close just need kelsey to do that <laughs> or something like it <laughs> doesn't have to get that close <laughs> That's not some scenery right there. Yeah.
Well, it's a little after nine and the wind is really starting to swirl. We have a front pushing through this afternoon, getting some northerly kicks. So I'm gonna call it a morning here. We're gonna get packed up and head out. This is an area that I'm gonna spend some time over the next couple of weeks uh, when we get the right wind. Actually, I forgot to mention earlier, but I had an encounter with Kelsey right here when he was a four-year-old. Uh, we were hunting Dak that year and I was walking in for an afternoon hunt and we were at the base of the tree and he walked into 15 yards. So that was a pretty cool encounter. I do think he basically beds in the peninsula and in the other peninsula and he runs, he just runs up and down the river quite a bit. So this will be a spot we spend some time. I'm not quite sure yet what we're gonna do this afternoon. I gotta get some work done, get some equipment to the shop. And like I mentioned, it's supposed to be raining this afternoon. So we're gonna see, might be able to make a hunt at the home farm, uh, get out of the wind and hunt the bottom plot or something. We'll see if we get out, we'll catch up with you guys then.